Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Health One podcast. At the time of recording this, I still haven't come up with a name, but I'm leaning towards the Health One podcast. So we're going to go with that for the moment and we're just going to roll with it because it's things like that that would hold me back from starting a podcast and stop me from launching a course, stop me from going after something I want because things aren't perfect. And even up until today, I've been putting this off for so long. I I guess the timing of it is good because I think it was better off that I waited till now, till I had a bit of life experience, till I evolved in what I wanted to share with my message. I think it was 2018 when I wanted to start a podcast and I always felt that I had it in me that I wanted to talk about it, but I guess I held myself back. But I do think that now I've got more experience working with clients and basically research more education just throw myself into self-development and here I am today I actually haven't been nervous about any sort of like presentation thing for god I don't know maybe like a good few months or maybe even a year and this is my first thing that I'm nervous but I'm trying to think of it as excitement rather than nervousness I think it's the camera (laughs) I can talk shit all day but I guess that when there's a camera in front of me I'm like "Ah." if it's my own camera on my phone speaking on stories I've no problem chatting shit all day um if anyone follows me they'll know that but I suppose yeah I'll take you from the top my name is Orla Swan for anyone that doesn't know and on on Instagram I'm known as the health one and I am a nutritionist slash health coach at the moment that's my current title Uh, and I think it will be evolving throughout the years as it already has been Um, my areas that I specialize in would be relationship with food which includes like your mind and your body as well uh, with a particular focus on disordered eating um hormones as well so hormones and particular focus on pcos pms fertility all that good stuff and then as well digestion and ibs so i'm gonna try my best not to curse too much but anyone that knows me well i'm gonna like i want to make this authentic i don't want this to be i don't want to be someone with a stick up my ass that's basically just talking about research all the time i want to make this entertaining not fucking boring so there is going to be a bit of language there's going to be a little bit of like shy talk there's gonna be a few memes shown in there there's gonna be a few impressions really bad accent impressions and um, because that's me that's me at the core I suppose when people ask you the question about who you are you would identify you would tell them that you identify as like your job but like that's not who I am I am a nutritionist I am a health coach I am really really passionate about redefining health about helping females about I suppose spread a message in general for health but I do specialize and work closely with females so that's my main focus but I have a fire in my belly when I talk about health and redefining health and helping people shift out of survival mode into thriving because I think it's so so important basically that we aren't living life like in survival mode where we don't get to experience true happiness where we don't get to experience life without panic anxiety day to day and I've been through my fair share of it as well so I guess that that's why I am so passionate about what I do but at the core I am just a regular gal from Ireland in Dublin and I how do you describe yourself it's like when you're in school or in college and you're introducing yourself to a group and they're like tell me three facts about yourself and you're like oh (laughs) but I suppose I am very spiritual and only in the past year and a half I think would have been when I started to become spiritual and I went on a bit of a spiritual journey last year I basically followed if anyone follows the manifestation babe I loved her approach that she likes to marry both science and like neuroscience and psychology and spirituality as well so she did this one year experiment where she decided to see how she got on if she just released any doubt any skepticism and just gave it a shot and I did the exact same thing last year and my life has fucking changed so much I'm a completely different person I am living in Bali living my fucking dream life have the business that I've always wanted to have and yeah so I'm spiritual now (laughs) I suppose I'm athletic, I love sports, um, not sports really actually, that's a line. I love training, I love the gym, I love resistance training and my tie and pole are my two two latest hobbies I suppose um, that I've started doing. I did kickboxing when I was younger um, so I always wanted to get back into it and I said during Covid I would get back into it but obviously it never happened um, but now I'm in Bali I'm able to train my tie and I fucking love it. Um, I have been living in Bali for the last five months and I'm down to my last month now here in April 2022 and I'm so sad but I am going back to Europe to do a little bit of travel, going to see some of my faves, my friends and family and to do a bit more exploring in Europe and 
that's kind of my life at the minute is traveling around um i always wanted to have a business that gave me the opportunity to work while i travel um and yeah i'm pretty much living my dream life and i'm really 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 grateful um but it took a lot for me to get there so that's what I'm going to try and talk about on my podcast as well. I'm going to be talking about health, science, all that good stuff, all the areas that I specialize in with hormones, relationship with food, digestion, everything like that. But I also want to open people's eyes up. I want to help them think outside of the box, outside of societal conditioning, outside of the four walls of your house, outside of your friendship group, outside of your neighborhood, etc. Because I've always had it in me that I wanted to live life differently. Um, and I thought that I didn't really fit in with a lot of people or a lot of jobs or a lot of just ways of living in life um and I guess now I really appreciate that because it shows me that it's not that I need to fit in it's that I'm actually part of doing life differently and then actually hopefully inspiring people um which has been nice messages that I've received recently I think what I really struggled with when I moved I moved to Portugal last year in 2021 that was my first time moving out from home and I really struggled with wanting to be relatable so because I was living away from Ireland I wasn't in the lockdowns and everything I was like oh my god I'm not relatable anymore I can't post this I can't do this but now I see myself as inspiring other people and especially with like careers and making change and traveling and just living life fucking differently and better (laughs) and asking for more and everybody deserves more so yeah I'm very happy about that um so let me take it from the top where do I start so I think 2017 was the year that my life started to change um I would have had really fucked up health before then like really really bad um so myself I have IBS irritable bowel syndrome I've got PCOS polycystic ovarian syndrome I've had my fair share of mental health and depression trauma um all sorts of random unexplainable fucking symptoms um all sorts of midlife crises at the age of like 21 24 etc um no but really I've been through I've had so many different jobs I've just really felt like nothing was really working out but it has all led me to where I am today like I truly truly believe that so 2017 I became obsessed with self-development um I would have had an eating disorder just up until that point as well and it would have been the year that I really decided to prioritize my health prioritize me um I would have left friendship circles I would have left jobs I would have stayed in more I would have really just focused on stressing less really focusing on managing my symptoms and getting them under control and it is through my own journey it is through my own education on my own body that I have the tools and the knowledge and the experience that I can share with my clients today um and through educating people on Instagram and now through the podcast but it did start off with a blog um it's so funny how it started off with a blog and I don't even write anymore (laughs) I blame Instagram because I actually used to love writing and it was never something that I thought I would do like in school I was always doing businessy kind of subjects accounting maths all that kind of shit and it wasn't until in Ireland we call it the leave insert so you're like your final years of college or your final years of school where you then can get into university or college so that would have been a really last minute decision to change over to science I just really liked biology I was fascinated by the human body and I still am obsessed with it I say obsessed a lot by the way but it doesn't mean that I'm obsessed with things but I'm just obsessed with them um but basically I decided last minute to change to biology but I changed to a course that was half biology half engineering and fuck me was it not what I expected (laughs) but I suppose I went around to where I am today in an absolute back arse way and I still made it here so it's okay but I failed first year of college I had to repeat the year based on physics and I would have had to start all over again and I felt like my life was ending of course but it was just redirecting me to where I am today and I would have started working in an emergency department for like three close to four years And that would have started basically my interest in the human body even further and in health and all that good stuff. I thought after my college uh, degree that I was going to go back and do medicine, but um, that that wasn't for me. And I'm really happy that I didn't make that decision because I'm sure I'll get into it someday. (laughs) But yeah, so basically I would have went around things not in the the conventional route I suppose because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing and I think this is such a pressure on young people to know what they're doing and like I am figuring it out now I feel like I still have I don't feel like nutrition is going to be my final destination I do feel like there's more interest in me with working with trauma the nervous system all that kind of stuff I think for me with like a science brain and maybe even just like 
I always need to know why. I always need to know the answer for everything. I need to get to the bottom of something. It's like I need to know that final piece and I won't stop until I do. And it's like that obsession that has gotten me to where I am now from just further learning and really wanting to figure figure shit out. So yeah, how did I even get onto that topic? Probably gonna go on six million tangents because that's who I am. Um, I think I'm getting better. I think I'm bring, getting better at bringing myself back to the original point, but I'm sure we'll find out in this podcast because usually I have stories on Instagram to stop in the middle of and see where I am. But um, yeah, we'll figure it out. So yeah, back to when I set up the blog. So my, like I was in final year doing a biotechnology degree and I was meant to be doing my lab reports for that were literally worth 40% of a module. And me... I am queen procrastinator, like the queen of procrastinating. And I used to think it was something that was a terrible trait or habit, but now I actually appreciate it because I have come up with the best fucking business ideas, the most creative solutions to things from procrastinating. And I think it's similar to kind of the likes of boredom that we don't like to be bored anymore. We don't like to have this space in our brains in our day because we need to be doing something all the time. And that's to do with your nervous system on a topic for another day. But I basically created a a cover for an ebook that was your no bullshit guide to beat the blow. <laughs> and I created color schemes, I decorated it and everything. And my friends were like, hola, go do your fucking lab reports you're gonna fail (laughs) I actually did really fucking bad in that module as well but anyways but that kind of sparked something in me at the time I didn't know what I was doing I just knew that I don't know it was just like an urge I was following and that was that's what's gotten me to where I am today following my intuition following these little nudges that I feel in me that I'm like I don't know why but I just want to do this or I just feel like this is the right decision like I feel it rather than it logically makes sense and that's that's a whole lot of my journey okay um but I yeah so that was the first thing and then that was kind of put in the bin because I remember Maeve Madden made her bloat book or whatever it was on recipes and I was like oh my god my business idea is gone <laughs> so that was gone but then I started a blog when I was meant to be doing um sorry actually don't you know the first one was my exams the second one was the lab reports and my friends were like are you at this shit again so um yeah but I started the blog didn't know why I wanted to start it I just really wanted to write one day I was meant to be writing the lab reports yeah and I just was at my laptop and I felt like writing something else you know as you do so (laughs) I was writing the the blog and I hadn't even set one up I just started writing and I knew a girl at the time that had started blogging and it was a very like foreign concept for us at the time it was like there was no such thing as like influence really on a mass scale that there is now it was like few and fair and like even bloggers would have been like oh my god you're a blogger like oh my god here are you to be a blogger so I used to tell people at my blog but I'd be like I'm like Scarlett oh my god no and I even at the name the health one uh shout out to my friend Kay for helping me with the name by the way I used to cringe at it because I was trying to merge health and then I was a little hun at the time. Still am a little hun at heart, but tried to really merge the two and to like bring my personality into it, but keep it general. And I'm so happy I did because I was going to focus on like go health and stuff like that, not realizing how much more I would evolve the brand basically. But um, posted the blog, got really good feedback, got some not backlash but some slagging if you're from Ireland you'll know that you just get fucking dogs abuse off anyone that tries to do anything differently and I let stuff like that hold me back for years whereas now I don't give a shit what people say I really don't give a fuck what people say and the right people support me and that's all that matters they also slag me as well because that's what friends are for (laughs) after that then I would have started to open up about my mental health journey which at the time 2018 wouldn't have been something people would have done it was literally like me like like me doing something so outrageous that like was like shameful in Ireland at the time like the conversations were not as frequent as they are now we didn't even have the language to talk about it because I even remember when I had anxiety that I couldn't vocalize what these sensations were I was crippled with social anxiety like really fucking bad general anxiety to be honest as well as social anxiety and a sprinkle of depression in there on top so yeah it was a fun few years for me um But it was very liberating for me to be able to talk about that and to help people and to open up conversations was really, really good because I used to have a lot of people say to me, Jesus, you'd look at you and think you had your whole life together. You think you had everything. Like, how could you be sad or low or whatever? And that was nice because then it made me feel like I didn't have to have such a wall up all the time. And that would have been me, literally like suppressed all my emotions all the time. Um, And again, that will be a podcast for another day. 
but yeah so tw- that was 2018 and I would have finished college I would have moved into a job moved away from the hospital crazy crazy environment and would have started working and would have started going out a bit more college is finished you've got more money life gets a little bit better 2019 is when I set up the Instagram page and so that would have been like a year and a half later and even then I was like who the fuck am I to set up an Instagram page like oh my god no way so that that took off in what year is it now 2022 2020 the year we all still have fucking PTSD from with COVID was the year and I want to say it was the year it's not the year I wanted it's the year I needed because if we didn't have COVID, if we didn't have lockdowns, I wouldn't have had the time to work two jobs. I don't know how the fuck I did it. Don't know, don't ask me how, but I did it for six months. I would have been studying nutrition as well as working full time and then COVID hit and I had to do my exams. Like, and I put so much pressure. I remember I failed one exam and I had so much shame, so much embarrassment, so much guilt because I was like, how can I make this my career if I'm after failing an exam? Even though I failed my exam in first year of the biotechnology degree and didn't give a fuck. <laughs> but anyways, there you go. So yeah, I was very lucky that my friend Saz, shout out to Saz, basically was pushing me into starting it straight away. I literally got my results in the May 2020 and then like more or less straight away she was like start taking on clients start it now and I was like no no I've got all the theory but I haven't got the experience severe imposter syndrome like severe 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 imposter syndrome like would eat me up and even for the first like year of coaching the first year of even first like two three years of having my Instagram page so much imposter syndrome I think as well I was always trying to fit in with certain crowds like I was like oh this is the evidence-based crowd this is the naturopath crowd this is the fitness crowd this is the diet culture crowd and I am someone who lies in the middle I am open-minded to it all I take opinions on without my ego um I do obviously favor towards evidence rather than woo-woo shit that can be harmful for people but I also take a step back and understand that science has not asked all the questions that we need to ask we don't have the equipment to measure everything that we need to measure there is biases in biases that a word biases um with gender in research as well and there's not enough focus on females with especially with hormones so i am neutral i'm in the middle and i am taking it all in from all all accounts and i am holistic in my approach but not in the holistic in the traditional sense that's like chinese medicine and stuff like that but i am open to that because i have seen magical things happening and um, based on things my clients have gotten done um and there's research ca- catching up with that so say for example acupuncture say for example meditation we're all catching up and kind of meeting in the middle so it doesn't have to be you're in either or camp of anything so yeah um and that brings me up to today so yeah i guess to wrap up the podcast of episode one one i just did two on the camera (laughs) but i guess the purpose of this podcast is to help you understand health from a holistic point of view your health is your relationships your financial health your emotional health your physical health your spiritual health your mental health um your nutrition your digestion your nervous system everything I want to start conversations about everything and help you understand that it doesn't have to be so complicated it doesn't have to be this thing that we push back to the back of our minds this last resort because you have to go to a doctor to do something about it I want to help you understand that going to the doctor isn't the only way to treat your health I want to help you understand I want to help you hear conversations about topics you might not have ever heard about but yeah I really just want to open up conversations with really interesting people and um, the first series is going to be solo episodes I'm going to share a lot about my journey a lot about my topics of interest and the client base that I work with that I specialize in help you understand health holistically help you understand that health doesn't have to be something you only consider when you are like on your deathbed when you need to go to the doctor help you understand that there's so much you can do outside of going to the doctor for your health on a daily basis help you understand how to work with your body instead of feeling like you're constantly fighting against it um so yeah so that would be for the podcast really just redefining health really opening up conversations helping you think outside the box and helping empower you basically with the education and the tools to live life better um on a personal note i really just want to further develop my public speaking so when i had severe severe anxiety um i wouldn't have been able to speak i would have felt like i had a speech impediment and sometimes it can still kind of pop up when i am anxious so i can get a bit like uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and yeah it can still happen in social situations I've learned to be less 
um freaked out by it like when it happened it made it worse because i'd be like oh my fucking god this person what are they thinking of me but as i have worked through self-development over the years i've learned to give less of a fuck what people think about me now i'm not perfect every so often it will pop up and i'll be a bit like oh my god but i am getting better at it but i know that i want to further develop that with public speaking that little bit more and bring you all along the journey as we go so yeah i really hope that you get engaged with this i'm going to be using my instagram stories for these topics i'm going to be putting up um question box polls everything trying to get you to get involved and help you open up the conversations within the community that i have been so lucky to build on instagram and i just want to say thank you to everyone who has followed me from instagram from day one nothing but support i've only ever had one troll and (laughs) we won't talk about that but i i really do appreciate this community and the support because it gives me fire in my belly to keep going when you share your stories, when you show me your feedback, when you show me how I have helped you on your journey, I'm like, let's fucking do it. Let's keep going. Some days I get doubtful. Some days I wonder what I'm doing is the right thing. Some days I wonder if it even is the right career move or whatever. So when I hear the feedback, when I get the messages, when I feel the love from you all, it really makes it all worthwhile. And it just really reminds me and reaffirms to me basically what I'm doing is the right thing. So yeah, I'm going to finish it up there. Stop talking shit, Orla. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Um, I hope you enjoy i can't wait for you to hear all the rest of the episodes and like and subscribe